In order for things to slowly reopen, we have to get smarter about staying one step ahead of the virus. And that work may take some old school methods, getting on the phone and calling people. Avajoy Burnett continues our live team coverage tonight. She reports on contact tracing and how it might work. Avajoy? Denise, well, think about this. What if someone was able to warn you that you've been exposed to the virus even before you knew it? It's called contact tracing, and the governor wants to quadruple the number of workers who are able to do this. Before America starts rolling again, the country needs a way to fight and win against the coronavirus. The battle may very well start with a person you'll never see. Someone on a phone or even on social media tracking people who've been exposed to the coronavirus then calling to warn them. I would hope that your viewers would understand that in the event that they got a call from us, one, please take our call. In Baltimore County, the health officer says his department went from six to 60 of those workers in just weeks. So this is how it works. The moment someone tests positive, a disease investigator will go back in time. Contact anyone you've been around, whether it was at the grocery grocery store, pharmacy, the bank, or even at your house. We call that person on the phone and we ask them about all the people they were in contact with up to two days prior to their symptoms. And if they were within six feet and speaking to them longer than five minutes, they give us those names. And then we call those people on the phone and we ask those people to self-quarantine themselves. Take a look at this graphic right here. Health experts say if nothing is done, starting with patient zero, the disease could spread rapidly versus this more ideal outcome if they get to people before they infect others. Under the state of emergency, millions of Marylanders are staying inside and contact tracing may very well be the tool that will bring life back to what we knew. With contact tracing, we could potentially stop the COVID virus right in its tracks. And the governor said a few days ago there are about 250 of those workers here in the state. He wants to increase that number to at least 1,000. Live tonight on Baltimore County, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.